everybody here to do this week's energy read of the week you know how i do it i keep it real raw uncut right to the point as detailed as possible and i incorporate my mediumship my psychic person to person abilities and i use the cards i use all three i'm a real freestyle reader so i usually have three or so areas that i focus on in readings and i didn't have any predetermined questions and i still don't but I already did post my, this new moon coming up on Friday, this new super moon in Libra. It's a biggie. If you want to, I've already posted my, my monthly um, uh, new moon reading with my new moon ritual on my webpage, egomedicinepsychicreadings.com. I'll post it on my social media accounts on Friday, but you can get a peek at it there. It's already posted. So there's a lot. We're coming off of this full moon in Aries energy. I'm not even, I'm not, no cards. Don't need the cards yet. We're coming off of this full moon in Aries. Aries has amplified a lot of people's energy and intentions and people have been a bit quick to anger. So, and also with Chiron and retrograde and Mars, it's brought up a lot of the wounded healers. Anybody that had any little last bits of darkness that they hadn't quite looked at, it would, would have likely been brought to the surface with this uh, recent Aries full moon. That doesn't mean you're going backwards. It means that anything that needed to be dislodged has been dislodged. <laughs> so, you know, make the most out of that. One thing about Aries energy is it's a, a lot of Aries people are all about starting a whole lot of projects, but not necessarily finishing them all. Um, Aries people make great leaders. They have strong energy. Um, they're good at planning, but sometimes we have to develop, I mean, Aries, we have to develop that follow through. Um, you know, it's easy for us to, to, to lead other people and, and delegate. Delegation is usually not an issue with Aries people. Um, so if you're able to delegate, go ahead and delegate and that will solve the problem. Now we got this new moon on Friday coming up in Libra and Libra is all about balance. And I'm hearing, let the dust settle, let the dust settle. A lot of things have been stirred up. Aries is very intense, as if you couldn't tell. Oh, and I'm, a, I'm an Aries sun and a Leo rising, so you get the double fire. Thank God in heaven that I've got that Cancer moon to water me down. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be out there stabbing bitches. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, so I'm going to focus this, this week's questions around navigating from Aries energy into Libra energy. And again, if you want my full um, new moon, super moon actually reading, it's on my webpage, egomedicinepsychicreadings.com. It's in my blog. Go ahead and check it out. Um, this is a big one. So the first, well, the first question I'm getting is going to be about letting that dust settle. So I'm going to pull in three cards for that issue. And I pull the ones that feel warm to me. And I forgot to mention, I'm using my secret language of light tarot deck. You can also get this on my webpage. And it ships in the U.S. and it's really fast shipping. I love this deck. Lots of colors, uh, a lot of room for interpretation using light language. And I've got Pleiadian and Arcturian starseed guides, so they use the light language quite a bit. Okay. So, about letting the dust fall where, where it needs to be. Okay, so this has all the stuff that's been stirred up. If it's really been stirred up and you don't know which end is up, that means that your soul journey needs some serious <laughs> adjusting. And you can see there's a, this is, there's a lot of air. It's up in the wind. Uh, things sort of looks like, it looks like a, not necessarily a thunderstorm, but it looks like the wind has stirred up some, some, some change. So the second one I got about letting the dust fall where it may is alignment. So, and this is, I'm seeing, I'm seeing calendar pages in the future flipping by. So this is uh, regarding the new moon and Libra coming up. Alignment, and, and that's all about balance. There's a lot of areas in your life where there isn't alignment, whether it's friendships or lifestyle or, um, you know, Self-care, that's a biggie, self-care. I wrote about that too. Um, it's a good time to, to really in, and intentionally do things that bring you back into alignment. And you're gonna have to make some changes, but as long as you let your light shine the way and you do not let the fear lead, you're gonna be okay. 
we this this is the rest of the year is there's going to be a lot of, of uh, dramatic shifts within individuals within communities within governments within the collective consciousness and ultimately the whole universe because earth is the last place where there's 3d life so that's why earth is so important to the ascension of our whole universe um, all right so my next question what is it going to be spirit what does the collective need to hear about today all right enhanced intuition that's another big thing coming up um, if somebody's open to yeah, or has been working on developing their psychic abilities this libra uh supermoon is gonna accelerate that um it uh, you may have more downloads you may have more vivid dreams you may if you know you have mediumship abilities you may have more communications with your angels or your spirit guides this is elevating the positive energy that this doesn't mean you know that uh, any dark energy is going to be more active it's you know strictly the light energy so i'm going to ask questions about how the question how to help people that may and this could it also include empaths you don't have to be you know call yourself a psychic everybody has intuition we all have a gut instinct how should we oh your first card i'm not even gonna the first card is already telling the story how to and my question was how to ease into this increased period of enhanced intuition i don't know if i said that out loud <laughs> oh boy oh boy so the first card we got was inner voice and you can see there's angel wings and there's a lot of light blue up around the top and you can see that's nothing but but you know the wings signify your angels the light that all the different colors of light uh, the high, the sh chakra colors of the third, the throat, the third eye, the crown chakra, and the golden, golden, uh, uh, the spiritual chakras above. So really listen to that inner voice. You may not um, like what that inner voice is telling you, and you may even battle with, was that, was that my inner voice? Was I making that up? This just, just for fun, for the next week if, during when this new moon energy is really intense. Trust those inner voices. Throw that, oh, I'm not sure if that's real. I'm not, you know, was that my imagination? Throw, let that voice be quiet and go with your intuition and see what doesn't happen. You're probably gonna surprise yourself. The second card I got around enhancing abilities is soul mating. And I'm this this card doesn't have anybody else in, in the card. So what this uh, specifically tells me if there were two people in this card, that would mean that the, um, the person is already in your life or, or what I'm seeing is that it wouldn't be the right person for you. So a lot of people that are single that have been working on attracting a soulmate, get right within yourself. And when we send out the energy of self-love and self-confidence and, uh, and, you know, we know what we want out of life that's like the beacon of light that you send out to your partner if we have not done the work that uh, Chi uh mars in retrograde and, and the wounded healer chiron last month then you're not going to be ready for this so you really have to sink into the heaviness in order to turn it around and make the best of it so as far as soul mating get you get yourself right stop chasing um you don't have to chase. And this also is in line with the intuition piece about people's intuition becoming more enhanced. Um, we all see the red flags around, <clears throat> excuse me, certain people. We don't always listen to them, but we also are often not aware of the vibration that we're sending out. We're aware of the vibration that we're conscious of, but we are still sending all of our energy, which includes what's subconscious. So this is Libra and following this Aries full moon is a time when a lot of the subconscious will become conscious. So as far as soul mating, instead of running around chasing people out there, use your intuition and do your own healing and use your intuitive gifts for yourself for now. Don't worry about running around, saving the rest of the world. Oh, I gotta find my twin flame. Is my twin flame coming back? Should I call my ex, Should, you know? you know focus on yourself your soulmate will be in alignment with your soul and it's not something that you'll have to chase it's just not and the other card i got was soul family and this 
Um, I'm seeing lots of imagery of people's loved ones, our, our ancestors that have crossed over. So if anyone <laughs> is open or has been experiencing some paranormal activity, it, it, it'll be your soul family. And like I said earlier, the enhanced uh, psychic abilities and communication with our spirit guides, that's being created from a much higher dimensional energy. It's actually because the, the star Arctur, Arcturia is, um, it's in the sign of, it's in, Leo, it's, it's in Libra right now. And uh, Arcturians are known to be light beings, star seeds, they're good. They're the good guys. I see them as uh, like light blue and indigo blue, this color, when they show up, when I do Reiki sessions or if they come through, if they're somebody's spirit guides. And their energy is just pure love, harmony, you know, unconditional love, um, empathy, inclusion, justice, you know, all the, th all the good things that we look for in humanity, the Arcturians. Uh, bring a lot of that energy so they might also be part of your soul family so pay attention to your dreams is what I'm getting really pay attention to your dreams a lot is going to be coming through for people now the next question I got is and there's also a lot of uh, this Libra uh, supermoon is all about letting go of guilt and shame so that's what this question is going to be about anything to help assist us with letting go of guilt or shame. Okay. 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 <clears throat> so, the first card I got was grounding. So, in, when we're talking about guilt or shame, energetically, that is here, I'm sorry, a little bit lower, in the sacral chakra. And the root chakra is below that. So, grounding and getting out in nature and connecting to the energy of the earth is gonna really help you in your journey um, you know guilt or shame is an, is a specific type of energy and you know we, we often decide how long we're gonna carry that um, the other card I got in relation to the guilt or shame was the divine masculine card and we all have a, a, a masculine and a feminine side it's not about sexuality it's about balance the, the, that Libra so there apparently are a lot of people that need to get more in touch with their divine, divine masculine energy the energy of action uh, you know uh, manifesting uh, creating things uh, being in motion and the feminine is about feeling and being and sensing and being in the moment and being tapped into your intuition where the masculine is more about movement <laughs> so uh, and also around guilt or shame this has, you know, I, I'm picking up a lot. A lot of people are, are healing from tra trauma that has, has been inflicted by maybe their male, supposed to be their protectors or people in their family. Forgiveness is a gift that you can give yourself. You don't have to wait and it doesn't excuse what happened. All it does is keeps you from letting that poison continue to keep you held back. When we Stay connected to the idea that we need closure or an apology uh, from a party that may not ever be able to give that to you. We keep ourselves stuck if, if you keep needing that. So give that gift to yourself. Be the person that you needed. Allow yourself to forgive. It doesn't excuse, and it also doesn't mean you have to let them back in your motherfucking life. <laughs> it does mean you stop carrying that poison. The next card I got around letting go of guilt or shame is, is switch it up, variance. Doing the same old thing, the same old way, we'll get the same old results. So switch it up and look into the sacral chakra. Look into what helps heal. There's lots of different ways to help heal the sacral chakra. Eating orange foods, uh, essential oils, like, um, sweet orange is a great one. Gemstones, um, uh, orange calcite, uh, moonstone. Uh, uh, topaz um, and, and some there are some citrines that that will work on the sacral chakra so vary it up a little bit all right so I hope you enjoyed this week's energy read of the week I do have some uh, new moon special out uh, now an eight card spread for a new moon reading if you want that just go to the web page eagle medicine psychic readings.com I hope you enjoyed this week's energy read of the week 
and hold on and let the healing flow through you. Don't be afraid. You don't have to run any anymore. 